So, how was it? All these tests? Aye, she's clear and very hydrated. Ooh, Ken Dingle joking about pee. No, there is nothing funny about handling your daughter's morning dregs. Yeah, that's nice she's passed now, that's something. It's a start. All right? Yeah. Uh, me and Johnny are heading off tomorrow for a bit of a break. But uh, Kerry's running two jobs and Dan's got his studies and they've got a meal here, so... Could you take Kyle, eh, while we're gone? What, and Johnny's just after dump him here, is she? Uh, no, no, I've convinced her. Well, why would you do that? Well, I've got my regrets about the hurt I've caused. <laughs> but one of the biggest ones is you cutting off your young lad again, just when you were getting to know him. Right. That lad needs you, eh? All you need to do is trust your guts as a parent. You know they say counting sheep works. Hey, you're trying to get me to sleep. See you later. Well, he's right. About trusting your instincts. The thing is, I don't know what my instincts are. Okay, well it's your call. Whatever you do, I've got your back. And I need you to have my back. About Holly. Because my gut is telling me that we need to stop putting her through those tests. OK? And that stuff with charity and the money sorted now, I completely trust you. And I've got two festivals booked and there's no way I'm going with him. Did my mum put you up to this? Uh, business is good, you cheeky mare. I actually need the staff. You were born a burger flipper. Except I don't do burgers. Yes, you do. You got them burgers on the stick. What are they called? Cofters. Yeah. Mint in different places, see? <laughs> right, so you can have as much food as you want, of course, and, you know, if we do well, then I might get him to tie up another van. I should have taken the quad and done it on my own rather than tramp the fields with you in silence. Victoria's offered me more work. Oh. Wisdom strikes again. Oh, hello, Smiler. Ten missed calls. Why don't you pick it up? Well, you keep it in your pocket, then. Yeah, would you answer your phone if you were me? What's wrong? Jazz. Oh. She gives me the creeps. Every time there's a spot of bother, she's there. Oh, typical. Waltzing when the drama's all over and tell everyone they've got it wrong. She's a nurse, and you know what? She was great. Me and Marlon were flapping around like fools. Why are you being so nice about her? Because she's organising Moses' party tomorrow. <sighs> are you here to support your sister or just get at me? Both. Hello, troublemaker. You all right? I know. Don't be daft. I'd go off my head if I thought I were pregnant by Gordon. Please don't tell Aaron. <laughs> he always says the same about you. He'll only worry. Well, he always says that, I know. Listen, you don't have to go. I can't remember the bar getting smashed up or anything, and that's not right. Well, go on, put your arms around and give her a cuddle, you idiot. Hey. Mm, that does help. <laughs> Jealous? Well, you two ever change. Are you sure she's not playing you? She's clean. And she has done everything that we have asked her to. And I'm at the end of her having to prove herself all the time. She's a grown woman. It's up to you. Yeah, if only you meant that. That'll all still be here when you get back. Is that a threat? Oh. You take care of yourself. Mm. Oh, parting is such sweet. Whatever. Go on, shift your backside. See I was thinking balloons, but little kids hate balloons, so should we just get them a balloon-shaped cake? Huh. Thanks. <laughs> 